Memory Memory is a location or space where we can keep data and information temporarily as well as permanently. There are two types of memory in computer, primary memory and secondary memory. Primary memory Primary memory is also known as main memory or internal memory. Primary memory is a segment of computer memory that can be accessed directly by the processor. Examples, RAM, ROM, cache memory, PROM, EPROM, registers, etc. RAM RAM, random access memory, is the internal memory of the CPU for storing data, program, and program result. It is a read-slash-write memory, which stores data until the machine is working. As soon as the machine is switched off, data is erased. RAM is volatile, i.e. data stored in it is lost when we switch off the computer or if there is a power failure. Hence, a backup uninterruptible power system, UPS, is often used with computers. RAM is small both in terms of its physical size and in the amount of data it can hold. SRAM The word static indicates that the memory retains its contents as long as power is being supplied. However, data is lost when the power gets down due to volatile nature. SRAM chips use a matrix of six transistors and no capacitors. Transistors do not require power to prevent leakage, so SRAM need not be refreshed on a regular basis. DROM DROM, unlike SRAM, must be continually refreshed in order to maintain the data. This is done by placing the memory on a refresh circuit that rewrites the data several hundred times per second. DROM is used for most system memory as it is cheap and small. All DROMs are made up of memory cells, which are composed of one capacitor and one transistor. ROM ROM, which stands for read-only memory, is a memory device or storage medium that stores information permanently. It is also the primary memory unit of a computer along with the random access memory, RAM. It is called read-only memory as we can only read the programs and data stored on it but cannot write on it. It is restricted to reading words that are permanently stored within the unit. PROM PROM is a blank version of ROM. It is manufactured as blank memory and programmed after manufacturing. We can say that it is kept blank at the time of manufacturing. You can purchase and then program it once using a special tool called a programmer. EPROM EPROM is a type of ROM that can be reprogrammed and erased many times. The method to erase the data is very different. It comes with a quartz window through which a specific frequency of ultraviolet light is passed for around 40 minutes to erase the data. So, it retains its content until it is exposed to the ultraviolet light. You need a special device called a PROM programmer or PROM burner to reprogram the EPROM. EPROM ROM is a type of read-only memory that can be erased and reprogrammed repeatedly, up to 10,000 times. It is also known as flash EPROM as it is similar to flash memory. It is erased and reprogrammed electrically without using ultraviolet light. Access time is between 45 and 200 nanoseconds. The data in this memory is written or erased one byte at a time, byte per byte, whereas, in flash memory data is written and erased in blocks. So, it is faster than EEPROM.
It is used for storing a small amount of data in computer and electronic systems and devices such as circuit boards. Cache memory. Cache memory is a chip-based computer component that makes retrieving data from the computer's memory more efficient. It acts as a temporary storage area that the computer's processor can retrieve data from easily. Buffer. The buffer memory is mainly located in random access memory, RAM, of a computer. In this area, CPU can store its data temporarily, like the data to be forwarded to other slow-speed output devices or other secondary storage devices, to enable the computer to execute other processes. Secondary memory Secondary memory is computer memory that is non-volatile, persistent and not immediately accessible by a computer or processor. It allows users to store data and information that can be retrieved, transmitted, and used by apps and services quickly and easily. Secondary memory is known as a backup memory or additional memory or auxiliary memory. Hard drive, SSD, flash, optical drive, USD drive are some examples of secondary memories in computer. Types based on the data access. Sequential access. In computing, sequential access memory, SAM, is a class of data storage devices that read stored data in a sequence. This is in contrast to random access memory, RAM, where data can be accessed in any order. Sequential access devices are usually a form of magnetic storage or optical storage. Random access. Random access memory is a form of computer memory that can be read and changed in any order, typically used to store working data and machine code. Your computer can access RAM memory much faster than data on a hard disk, SSD, or other long-term storage device. Types based on the technology Semiconductor storage Semiconductor storage A type of storage using integrated circuits to store data, examples include RAM, ROM, and flash memory. All computers created today use at least some form of semiconductor storage. Magnetic storage Magnetic storage or magnetic recording is the storage of data on a magnetized medium. Magnetic storage uses different patterns of magnetization in a magnetizable material to store data and is a form of non-volatile memory. The information is accessed using one or more read-slash-write heads. Magnetic hard disk a magnetic disk drive consists of a number of platters, disks, coated in a magnetic material. They spin at around 7,200 RPM. The data is encoded into bits and written onto the surface as a series of changes in the direction of the magnetization. Floppy disk a floppy disk is a magnetic storage medium for computer systems. The floppy disk is composed of a thin, flexible magnetic disk sealed in a square plastic carrier. In order to read and write data from a floppy disk, a computer system must have a floppy disk drive, FDD. Zip disk a zip disk is a computer disk, similar to a floppy disk but capable of storing greater amounts of data. Zip disks could be used to store the equivalent of three music CDs. Magnetic tape 
Magnetic tape is a medium for magnetic storage, made of a thin, magnetizable coating on a long, narrow strip of plastic film. It was developed in Germany in 1928, based on magnetic wire recording. Optical storage Optical storage is any storage type in which data is written and read with a laser. Typically, data is written to optical media such as compact discs, CDs, and digital versatile discs, DVDs. CDROM R or R slash W A compact disc rewritable, CDRW, is an erasable disc that can be reused. The data on a CDRW disc can be erased and recorded over numerous times. Note, CDRW media may not be readable outside of the drive it was created in. DVDR or R slash W A DVDR can only record data once, then the data becomes permanent on the disc. The disc cannot be recorded onto a second time. DVDRW is an erasable disc that can be reused like a CDRW or DVD plus RW. The data on a DVDRW disc can be erased and recorded over numerous times. Blu ray disc Blu ray is an optical disc format like CD and DVD. Blu-ray discs can hold more information than other optical media, because of the blue lasers that the disc drives use. A single Blu-ray disc can hold up to 25 gigabytes of data. External Storage Device An external storage device, also referred to as auxiliary storage and secondary storage, is a device that contains all the addressable data storage that is not inside a computer's main storage or memory. Online storage. Smart storage. Flash memory. Memory stick.